I was invited to manage the Permaculture Institute in Australia at Tagari Farm in northern New South Wales. This was the foundation institute established by Bill Mollison, the founder of this design system. More and more people started to come and see what we were doing, even when there was a large drought in the area, the, the, the worst drought in a hundred years. Our local village was even cut off from water supply and only had basic water and limited amounts supplied in the street. We were irrigating all kinds of crops here to establish our first gardens and running quite a few sprinklers. Local people would come and ask, how are you irrigating? You're not supposed to be pumping water. There's a, there's a shortage of water, but we were oversupplied because we had gravity irrigation systems from water harvest in swales and, and ponds and dams uphill. We could gravity irrigate as much water as we wanted. And it's a simple system, yet people thought we were actually lucky. There's nothing lucky about that. That was often the comment, but this is design. Just trust it, work with it, get to understand how it functions and stacks up nutrient and, and becomes more abundant all the time. It produces more energy than it consumes in our, to our benefit. If you can live with that little bit of disorder in appearance, maintaining a system that moves towards permanence and abundance, we can live on this earth forever and in a system that we can be proud of. And we can tell the future generations, we moved this forward and we started the new evolution of humanity. This is the future and the only future that's possible. Let's do it. Here we are between two swells. In fact, there's a third swell. There's a fourth swell. There's a fourth swell at the top of the hill, an older swell. A, swell, a newer swell just above the driveway. The driveway on contour then a swell following below on contour that's quite well treed. And there's actually a swell down below. In between, there's a walking track on contour. So there's a lot of elements on contour, but right in between the swells, front and centre in this view, you can see a newly planted food forest that's emerging here with patches of mulch trees and cover crop that's coming out nice and green, summer cover crop. Next patch over is an area that's just been mulched and planted, and then we have the chickens. So we have our little chicken house, where the chickens are all inside an electric net fence. There's a solar panel on the roof. 10 days of scratching in that area, and we can convert that into 150 square meters of food forest. The checklist for purchasing a property. Where are you going to place the house? Where are you going to place the buildings? What are the earth structures that are going to be needed? And once we know water potential, once we know access possibilities, then we can make sensible decisions about where structures can be positioned. Just a 2% grade from centre. So the road water here runs to the upside and the V-drain and passively into the collection pits the pipes take it under the road. Now we have a little dam here that I pointed out on the landscape and a contour line joining it to another va valley dam here through to another valley dam there and on round to another valley dam here. We saw all these quite clearly on the landscape. So here we go, going round on that contour line we can see that there's this great big linkage between dams, contours, and water harvesting systems. There's nothing really special about this. You would never realize what's actually on the inside. It's really worth having a good close look at this because this is something you need to understand is possible. Follow this system, it becomes a very meaningful way to live and a way that you can help other people as well.